Hey everybody, we're uh, going live in just a moment. Um, well, we're starting in just a moment, we're live now. But wanted to um, just come on for our weekly inspiration Thursdays at, uh, at noon. We're working on um, solidifying maybe a new name. It was called Six Minutes to Success for a while, but we are um, looking at maybe working on changing the name so you may be uh, hearing more about that and also given the opportunity to express your uh, thoughts about that as well uh, as persons are on please let me know you're here if you get a chance make a comment and i'll be able to say hello to you uh, as always like and share this post uh, please and you may hear me say this a few times today but i want to start out by saying thank you so much everyone who supported purple table talk last night um, and the reason it's called purple table talk if you were wondering why uh, my father being a bishop in the African Methodist Episcopal Church and having five sons um, that are pastoring, a grandson who's pastoring, as well as a daughter-in-law who is an ordained itinerant elder as well, we would sit around the table and talk about church. And uh, people would say, man, you're blessed to be able to sit around that purple table because you have Bishop Cousin, uh, and bishops wear purple, Bishop Cousin talking with you. So what we did last night was we just shared what our family talks about with the world. And uh, we thank you for being so generous and being a part of it. Uh, it was truly, truly a blessing. Uh, hello, uh, Sister Battle and Brother Lavender. Thanks for letting me know you're here. Uh, shout out to Brother Lavender again for helping us out last night. It was a tremendous blessing to us. Um, so we thank you for your support of Purple Table Talk. Uh, please check the Allen Temple Facebook page or you can check my personal page, or you can check uh, the Facebook page of Purple Table Talk, as well as many others, for this video. Please take a look at it when you get a chance. Um, I wanna thank you again for everything. So as persons come on, once again, if you just let me know you're here, I'll be able to shout you out. But as we start, as always, let's just bow our heads for a moment of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity again to come before you. As always, we ask the words of our mouths and meditations of our hearts be acceptable to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What's up, Shonda Campbell? Uh, my friend Shonda all the way from Michigan. She's uh, wonderful. Uh, she's family. So we praise the Lord. Good to see you on today with us, Shonda. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, our scripture for today can be found in uh, Philippians, the fourth chapter, verses six and seven. It's something that all of us are uh, probably familiar with. We know this scripture well. Philippians 4, 6, and 7, and we find these words. Uh, don't worry about, this is Paul writing to the church of Philippi. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. And you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. And his peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Today's theme we're talking about is basically... Um, how we can understand the problem with worrying. And here's my question for you to answer for yourself today. How many things have you missed out on in life that God wanted you to have simply because you were afraid? How many times has fear stopped you from doing and being what God would have you to be? How many times has fear kept you from taking that step in faith from taking that walk, from taking that leap, from taking God's hand. And the reason I ask you that question is because oftentimes the reason we're crippled by fear is because we're first crippled by worrying. Intense worrying leads to fear. And the more we worry about things, then the more fearful we are. And the more fearful we are, the less likely we are to really take God at God's word and trust God. Um, you know, we talked about the Purple Table Talk. Shout out again, everybody last night who supported and who's still supporting. Uh, got almost 5,000 views now, I think. So I want to thank y'all. It's a blessing just to be a part of it. I want to thank my dad and all the panelists, my nephew for moderating everyone. But here's the thing. Purple Table Talk um, almost didn't happen because of fear and because of worry. Because as God gave me this idea together, uh, my brothers and my nephew around my father to uh, make sure 
that we have some conversations and some dialogues that will be a blessing to the kingdom of God, I begin to ask myself the question and I begin to get these thoughts. What if nobody watches? What if nobody cares? What if nobody wants to listen? And the worry almost took over and the worry almost became fear and the fear almost stopped me from doing it. But what happened was, after much consultation with God, God said, go ahead and do it. It's something that the body of Christ needs to see. And now it's birthed something that you will see more of that will not be prayerfully the last one or the only one that we do. And so I began to ask myself the question, how many other things in life have messed us up because we were afraid? And we were afraid because we simply worried too much. So it leads me to what Paul says. And, and the way to get over worrying, it's, it's simple, it's easy. It's easy to say, but not always easy to do. Paul says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank God for all he's done. So in essence, the way to get over worrying and the way to not be fearful is simply this. Don't worry, just pray. And pray that God would give you the strength that only God can give you and the ability that only God can give you to do the things that only God can allow you to do. And when we don't worry and pray, and we ask God for what we need, and thank God for all God has done, the Bible says we will experience God's peace exceeding anything we can understand. Never in a million years did I think that many people would watch uh, uh, Purple Table Talk last night. Never in a million years did I think that many people would even watch us uh, every Thursday do this. I don't think these things, but God says go out there and do them. And there's some other decisions right now God is causing you and asking you to make in this pandemic. Alan Temple, to my Alan Temple people as a church, their decisions God is calling us to make during this pandemic, many of them regarding the safety of God's people. God says don't worry about the outcome of the decision. Just trust me, pray, and I'll make everything all right. In your life, trust God, believe God, don't worry because when I worry, I become afraid. When I become afraid, I just don't do. I become paralyzed by fear. Don't allow fear to paralyze you. Pray about it and don't worry and put it in God's hands. And as the Bible says in, uh, in, in other places, uh, especially if it's of God, it's going to be fine. And if it's not of God, God will take care of everything but it's not on us to worry. So the way we get rid of worrying is we simply put our trust and our faith in God and pray and allow God to move and use us in our lives. This season, don't worry about stuff. Don't worry about things. Put it in God's hands and let God show you how much God can bless you beyond your wildest dreams. Did that video last night? My dad did an awesome job. Uh, Bishop did an awesome job. My brothers, my nephews did an awesome job. Uh, Brother Lavender was on helping us out, making sure everything was uh, running smoothly on Facebook Live. And God provided the increase and God is providing the increase daily. Use that as an example to trust God and not worry about your situation. Put it in God's hands. And I guarantee you, God will bless you tremendously. And the Bible says, and the peace when you do this, of God, will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Let go of the worry. Pray. Put it in God's hands. God's going to bless you tremendously and allow your minds and your hearts to have a peace which exceeds anything we could ever understand. Thank you for sharing with me a few minutes today and allowing me to share with you a few minutes today. I hope this blessed you and I hope this helped you. Thank you again for supporting Purple Table Talk as well as all of the ventures and the things we do here at Allen Temple. I love you all. And remember, the key to getting rid of worrying, the problem with worrying is it turns into fear. But if I'm able to put it in God's hands, I don't worry. I never am fearful. And I trust God to provide the increase. Please like and share this with your friends. Go in peace. May God's peace go with you. I love you all. Thanks for spending some time with me on this Thursday.